Mats Madhu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our Smart Do. Welcome our great force for today's Om Science lesson. I hope you are well. I'm also very fine. Now today, we are looking at a very, very interesting uh, area that is uh, an area related to milk. Now we've been looking at uh, food and nutrition and uh, milk is one of the foods uh, that is very healthy and very important for us. And we mentioned uh, it as part uh, of the bodybuilding foods. Now today, we're going to uh, start by looking at uh, the sources of milk. Where, where do we get uh, our, where do we get, where do we get our milk? Now, first of all, milk is an animal product. You must understand that milk is got from animals. And uh, not all animals are able to give us milk, but you have the specific ones uh, that do that. For example, uh, an animal that gives us milk, yes, uh, yes, the most uh, common animal is the, is the cow, is a cow, and most of the milk that we take up uh, is uh, from cows. Another animal that can give us milk, uh, yes, uh, uh -huh. goats, uh, we have uh, goats that are kept for milk, very good. Another animal that can give us milk, uh, yes, uh, uh -huh. We have the, the camel. Now, in our country, these are the most common animals that give us milk. That give us milk. But uh, other, in other countries, uh, there are those uh, people uh, who they are there, the buffaloes. The buffaloes, yes, they are the buffaloes. And they get uh, milk from the buffaloes. Though the milk from the buffaloes is uh, not a lot, it is a uh, uh, very little because uh, the animal itself uh, is uh, not uh, uh, for that purpose. It is not for producing milk. So therefore, this is where uh, we get uh, uh, our milk from the animals. We can also find ourselves if we are not having these animals. So we end up uh, buying milk. We buy, we buy milk. We find ourselves buying ourselves, uh, buying uh, milk. So, where can we buy milk? Where can we buy milk? Where can we buy milk? Yes, we can buy it from the, from the shops, uh, from the nearby shops. We uh, can get it from the supermarket, uh, whereby we have it uh, packed. Uh -huh. Another place, uh, uh, we have the, the, milk, uh, the milk vendors. We have the milk uh, Vendors, yes, the people who move around selling uh, milk. Uh, we also have the, the dairy, the dairy, dairy shops uh, where we can go and buy uh, the quantity of milk uh, that uh, we want. So, that is uh, the first thing, uh, the first area that we are supposed uh, to pull to look at the sources of milk. And if you don't have the animals, where you can get uh, your milk uh, from. Now, another thing that we are supposed to look at and understand is why, as I've written there, why we need to preserve milk. Why do we need to preserve milk? So that's our second area. Number two, why do we need to Preserve, preserve milk. Why do we need to preserve milk? Now, uh, one thing uh, you must uh, understand is that milk, milk is very perishable. Perishable. Now, what does that mean? It means that it goes bad very quickly. So, it is important, therefore, that uh, we take uh, care of it. 
It is important, therefore, that we take care of it because once it is contaminated or some uh, impurities get into it, it is going to become bad very fast. So that is the, the main reason that uh, we have to uh, preserve milk. Number two, number two is that can be a number two, so that you can have it for future use. Future use, we can have the milk for future use. Now sometimes we find that farmers produce a lot of milk, a lot of milk, like uh, during the rainy season when there is a lot of grass for the animals. So the farmers have a lot of milk. So what are you supposed to do? They have to come up with ways of preserving that milk so that they can use it for future. Number, number three, it also saves, saves on wastage saves on wastage once you preserve milk uh, it will be easy it will save you on on wasted how, how does it save you you will find that uh, you are not going to pour maybe the milk uh, which uh, will have uh, found another purpose or another user uh, for it now how do we preserve milk how do we do we pre Preserve milk. Now we have said this is important to preserve it. Now then, how do we preserve it? Now, one of the easiest ways of preserving milk, and especially when we don't have a lot of it, is by boiling. Is by boiling. Is by boiling it. Now we boil the milk. Now once we boil the milk, we are uh, we kill the germs, and the milk can uh, stay for longer periods of time. And I'm sure this is very common at home where the milk is, uh, is boiled. Number two, another way of preserving milk is, is whereby we put them in the, in the fridge. So we refrigerate, refrigerate the milk, refrigerate, Refri refrigerator uh, the milk. Now this is very, very important. Now what does that mean? That means it cools cools the milk such that a uh, bacteria cannot have the chance of uh, infecting uh, the milk or coming into contact with the milk. So once we refrigerate the milk, uh, the bacteria will not have a chance of getting into the milk. Number three, you have what you call fermenting. Fermenting. Fermenting the milk. Now, I don't know whether any of you has, uh, has ever taken a fermented milk. Now this one is what you call the maziwa mala, the sour milk, the sour milk. Yes, I know, I'm sure once I've mentioned those names, uh, you have become familiar with the word. So, this is whereby you allow the milk to, to go sour. You put it somewhere for a short, uh, for some days, uh, then it goes sour and uh, you are able to drink it uh, with certain foods uh, like garlic, bread, uh, or you can just uh, take it uh, uh, like that without uh, any other, other thing. So this is another way of, of uh, preserving uh, the milk. Now another way of uh, preserving the milk, uh, of preserving milk, uh, is whereby we turn it into powder. The milk, the milk is turned, the standard into powder. Yes, I'm sure you have ever tasted uh, or come across powder milk. Uh, some of it is even uh, given to, to babies. The nan, the nan formula is an example of a powdered milk. Also, we have uh, the, uh, the tins in the supermarkets and the shops whereby you can go and buy the powdered milk. And uh, the powdered milk can stay for a very long time without going bad. Number five, number five another way of preserving milk is packing. Is by packing. You put it in, in packets. In packets. For example, here I have an example of a packet of milk whereby the milk has been packed in here. And uh, that means it was boiled, then put inside here. And in this, the packet, uh, the milk in this packet can last for many, many days. For example, in this one, they say it can last for 120 days. So this milk can be used in future from today. You can use it 
two, three months uh, from now. So one uh, another way of preserving milk uh, is uh, by uh, packing it. Uh, finally, we have, you can turn uh, the milk into what you call the, the yogurt. The yogurt. You can turn uh, the milk into what uh, we call the yogurt. Now, there are different uh, brands of yogurt. Uh, so here is a container of, um, of, of yogurt. So we can turn the milk into yogurt. And once you turn it into the yogurt, uh, uh, the milk uh, will be used for future. That is a product that is, uh, uh, comes from milk. And so, as you have seen, there are so many ways in which we can preserve milk. Uh, you can also think of other ways uh, that you can help at home uh, when it comes uh, to preserving milk. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good time. Goodbye.